today we will see silvac silcom light software where you will be able to connect one instrument and one foot pedal via bluetooth or via cable so here we will see how to connect instrument what features we are having in silcom where from you can download the software so if you get on silvac.ca website then you are having a login screen at here I have done login with my email ID, you can do the same and then you can go with downloads in softwares and drivers and then you can switch to Silcom and then here you are having a download option for Silcom Lite which is for connecting one instrument and one foot pedal. So once you download, you can install it uh, as a regular software. Then once you start the software, you will have two options supervisor and operator supervisor is having all the facilities to do the program connecting instruments so we will get login with supervisor the supervisor password is one two three and then paste login here you can create your programs there are nine different options functions you can see instruments channels programs about data export setting measurement home and on this home you are you will be able to see all the different programs what you have made on this side you will be able to see uh, left side the version of your software or the bluetooth symbol if you click on the bluetooth symbol you will be able to see a bluetooth dongle which is connected to this pc you can reset it and then you can just click uh, you can just start your uh, bluetooth so it will be visible to your pc Once you get connected with this, you can you can create your parameters. Where as per your parameters, you can select different channels, and then in settings, you will be able to do the same functions. What you will be able to do it in standard, advanced, and pro version. Export. Is still in uh, light version we will be able to export this uh, data in excel file or export focus whenever your cursor will be faced uh, set it the data will get transferred there you can select a particular excel file and you can save the data always the same excel file will get open and wherever the cursor will be there the data will get transferred export focus export excel so export excel is a function where a particular template has been assigned for the parameter or for the value so if you have assigned if you want to send the data uh, with the taken values in particular template then you can select those that export file so we have one simple file on the desktop once you select it it will get open once it gets open it is a read only file and if you are having a template here and you wanted the data from C column number C row number 6 to column number F 8 then you can assign it so according to your we don't have any channel right now we didn't create any parameters so once you create a parameter you can select which parameter reading you which parameter of which attributes you need to send so multiple things you can send but we will just send value correctly and then you can select c6 c6 the data should go on the column wise how many data should it should get sent i think those are four and then select sheet one and at here there is no other sheets you can send you can send in multiple sheets at the same time and once you do this you can say go to the next line or stop after three batches and once it's done save and reopen it's quite easy to do this and then just move, move to your home page or the instrument 
where you can be able to connect the Bluetooth instruments. So just see. Let's see. So it will be visible to you. To which instruments you can move the instruments and you can see the readings are moving. Press connect and it will get connected with your booting instruments easily. And once it's here, you will get to move once it starts showing the readings that means it is connected 100% fully. Then just close it, move to the measurements and where you have created the channel double click on this you can provide a name like length 10 mm might be 10.5 description major caliber you can choose different displays that here you can then we can just click on trigger and move the instrument so automatically the instrument will get selected Click on the blind mode, blind mode will save data. So, where data is getting conjunction transfer, you will see what is blind mode. You can put tolerances 10.5 plus minus 100 microns, and then on the bottom, you will see you can set some more parameters if you want. We can create our own programs also we can send to character correction factor so here yeah, if i move the caliper it's the real time reading so this takes a con more battery consumption as it need to send a continuous data so now when i move the caliper it's not sending the data so when i will trigger a button at the time to be it will send so the consumption will be very less and we will save the battery of 20. So this we have done. Once you have done this, switch to export. We have already set to everything. And you can see all the data has been sent. We'll just close this one. This will save. Okay. It's a yes. You want to save yes. And the operators will switch to operator 1, 2, 3, login and select the program automatically the sorry, automatically the Excel sheet will get open and then once you press the reading it will start taking the readings in a software as well as in your template. So four readings have been completed, second batch so after three batch it will get close and then you can send the data in new file. So I don't think the new template will get open and you can send the data in a new template. So now we don't have template right now, but it's a virtual template you can assume. We will close this and you will see how we can and now we put it some tolerances so we can also send some other functions also like in export we say add send like the deviation in C column number 10 which should go same like this with the four and we we'll just save this so three we select the program again we will see so you can see how much emission we are having at the same time from the ten point five what is the division? It is getting sent.
or else you can select different functions in this status maybe so from this also you can, you can just uh, see which parameters you need to send in data you can send different operator from the name blue character question factor deviation a lot more things you can send so we have selected it here so we will send Tolerance, upper the tolerance, so you can send big values. Range, minimum tolerance. So when it is, when it is a minimum tolerance. So you can also see the readings in your file as well as you can see in data you can send the export in different formats you can create a virtual component here so no need of uh, any vmux software so at the same time you can create this and you can send the data settings you are having different settings set here you can create your users then you, you can do multiple things in this In measurements, if you want, you can put your uh, part number also, and you can store the reading. So, if you see, so here part number I will give one, and you can store the reading. So, we can say we will just always say this that uh, the data can be stored with the part number, and then. Uh, in channels you can see and you can select some functions like this if you want to replace this then also you can be able to replace the function on the other character you will be able to set the battery life if you have any questions please let me know thank you